Hey guys, and welcome back to the Bookworms Buddy. Today is Series Sunday, and um, I'm sorry I didn't have one last Sunday. I just didn't feel up to doing one. But I figured I should probably do one today, and I chose Tammy Hoag's Kovac and Mishka series. Um, first you have Ashes to Ashes. Next is Dust to Dust. The third one is Prior Bad Axe. And the last one is The Ninth Girl, which I don't have. They came out last year. Uh, I know that. I don't know if there's going to be any more books to this series or not. Um, so far, I'm absolutely loving the series. Um, so first I'll talk about Ashes to Ashes. This one, you don't see so much of Kovac and Lichka. They're more in the background, and Kate Conlon and John Quinn are more in the forefront. In this one, they have what they call the cremator, who, you know, murders his people, and then they're cremated. And, um, like I said, Kovac and Lichka is kind of in the background. Um, and I really would have liked to have seen more of them in the first book. Um, but, don't get me wrong, I did love Kate Conlon and John Quinn. I loved their relationship watching it grow between the two of them um, and it was just very they, they just had a really really good relationship and they seemed to work very well together so that was ashes to ashes dust to dust it was a case of a cop um, who they thought was suicide and not murder and there was only one real clue and it said sorry on the mirror. In this book, Kovac and Lee should come more into the forefront forefront of the series, and I loved that. Kovac and Lishka, you get to learn a little bit more about them in this book, and I really started liking um, how they work together and, and how, how um, they did things. And I also like how they kind of stick up for one another and they're there for each other. And it's strictly partnership. There's there's no love interest between them. And then the one that I just finished, which I had my review on, Prior Bad Acts. This is the book where I actually fell in love with Kovac and Liska and um, their partnership. And neither one of them are scar-free. They, they both have had a kind of rough um, existence. And um, Kovac uses his to to bust the bad guys and he will get in everybody's face. In this book, um, it was it was a triple murder. It was a mother and two children and it was just a brutal murder. Brutal murder. They were tortured and then, you know, tortured and terrorized and then killed. And um, a judge gets involved or on the wrong side of it and her life gets threatened and Kovac and Lishka comes um, to solve the case you know and and get the bad guy um, there's in all of these books in all of them um, you see several mysteries that are going through the book and I really like that aspect of a mystery I like when there's more than just one mystery to solve it co constantly keeps you thinking and wanting to plow ahead and, and finish the, and finish the book because you want to know what happens so um, this one is my favorite so far um, I'm gonna try and get the ninth girl this year sometime so I can finish up this series if that is in fact the last book I have to recommend this to anybody who loves mystery Tammy Hogue well the story is I was just buying a bunch of Tammy Hogue books and I hadn't read them I'm like you know what I really need to start reading them I keep buying them because I kept buying them finding them bargain priced, like a dollar a book. And that's when I first picked up the first one, which was Ashes to Ashes. It was a buck on the sales rack, and the same with the other ones. So I will, actually I think Prior Bad Acts, I picked up as a uh, half price. So if you love mystery books, you really should, you really ought to get into Tammy Hogue because I love her writing. I love her character development, which is fantastic as well. And I've just really enjoyed this so far, so um, check them out. Um, I've also also had people asking me, you know, can I read this one first and then this one? And actually, I guess you could read them as standalones, only on the idea that the cases don't carry over in each book. But you also have to think about the side of the characters. Um, their lives carry over from one book to the next, so something might be confusing that pops up in a book like in this one 
Kate Cannon and John Quinn are talked about, and you probably think, huh, who are they? Who, you know, come out first in Ashes to Ashes, as I said. So, on that aspect of it, you might want to read them in order. So, it would be Ashes to Ashes first, then Dust to Dust, then Prior Bad Acts. And then, of course, The Ninth Girl. And um, that's it, guys. That's Series Sunday this week. Check them out. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about the series as a whole or a, a single book that you've read. Um, I'd be interested to know what you thought. So, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.